Hey, feels right. Feels right. Man. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders were in good shape to possibly go on a winning streak after upsetting the Baltimore Ravens in Week 2. Now, after losing to the Carolina Panthers in Week 3, we're wondering how they're going to make it past the Cleveland Browns in Week 4. Not only did the Raiders look horrible in Week 3, but they have some key guys that won't play in Week 4 due to injury. It wasn't bad enough to lose edge rusher Malcolm Coons for the season three days before the season opener. Star edge rusher Max Crosby, linebacker Devon Diablo, right tackle Thayer Munford, tight end Michael Mayer, and star receiver Devontae Adams are out for Week 4. Meanwhile, it looks like the Browns are going to get all-pro guard Joel Batonio back, but they're not going to have tackle Jedrick Willis. Needless to say, the Raiders got the worst end of it as far as injuries go, but the Browns are not without their own problems in that department. Well, all there is left to do now is match up whoever the Raiders have left to play with whoever the Browns have left to see what this all can look like. And this is what I have for this game as of right now. Alright, we know Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson's playing. And he can still do the things he used to do every once in a while. See the touch and accuracy on that dime? Yeah, and how about this one? And he can still do it on the run off the scramble. But most of the time he's not really going too far down the field. It's mainly dinking and dunking. He's depending a lot on run after the catch like on this screen to the running back. The problem with Watson is he's not as consistently accurate as he used to be. He will miss, particularly down the field. He doesn't make those big boy throws like those deep outs as consistently as he used to. He has a lot of misses down the field. He's missing layups too. This one's pretty bad. And sometimes he puts the ball in harm's way. And he's under constant pressure. He gets sacked a lot. He's already been sacked 16 times so far this year. As you can see there, the blitz gets to him. And here's another blitz. The Giants got him eight times in week three. Eight. They seriously got to figure out what they're going to do about the blitz. Willis and Jack Conklin being hurt at the tackle positions doesn't help either. The 2023 first round pick Tyree Wilson just might do something with this situation.
But interior defense lineman Christian Wilkins needs to take over this game. He needs to put mad heat on Watson. Watch how quickly he gets rid of his guy here. That's what we need right there. This is Betonio's first day back on the job and Wilkins needs to turn into a nightmare. He unfortunately won't have Max Crosby with him on Sunday. But he is coming off a game where he was extremely disruptive. He's going to force the errant throw here. Oh, and Raider defensive coordinator Patrick Graham has some blitzes too. That's one of the many things middle linebacker Robert Splane has been good at this year. He's probably going to have to do some spying too because Watson can do things like this still. An escape artist he still is. Watch these shakes here. Oh. 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 Okay, not quite. The Browns running game? Well, it's not the best with Nick Chubb out. The number 23 in rushing offense this year. And it's not because they don't run enough. They're averaging only 3.8 yards per carry. But there are times they can get the running game off a little bit. They can sneak a draw by you every once in a while. Number 34, Jerome Ford is actually averaging 5 yards per carry. He's not Nick Chubb, but the Raiders better watch out for him. Well, the Raiders need to watch out for any running back they play. Run defense has been a problem. In the first two games, the Raiders would stop the run and stop the run, and then give up big plays in a run game. But the Panthers consistently ran the ball on the Raiders in week three and controlled the game. The Raiders better do something about the Browns running game Sunday. If not, it's going to be a long game. It's going to hurt not having Crosby in there. Wilkins really needs to step up and lead the way or Brown's ball carriers will be in the Raiders secondary all day. Another guy the Raiders have to worry about is a familiar face, receiver Omari Cooper. He can still get you up top. He can still get you underneath. He can still get you in the red zone. He can fade you. And he can help his quarterback out in the scramble drill. He's still a true number one receiver. 
they move him around a lot, so when he's in the slot, he'll have to deal with Nate Hobbs. Hobbs made a nice play on the ball last week, but he also got abused by Panthers receiver Deontay Johnson. Jack Jones also had a nice play on the ball last week. But he got abused for two touchdowns. The Raiders' best corner last week was Jaquarion Bennett, who only gave up catches on 40% of his targets. It's really hard to see how this one's going to shake out. The Browns have injuries at the offensive tackle position, but the Raiders won't have Crosby to take advantage of it. Can Wilson take advantage of it and get his career off the ground? Will Graham blitz Watson? If he does, how will Watson handle it? Can the Raiders get their run defense on track for week four? Ford looks like he could be a problem for the Raiders running the football. Then there's the big X factor, Cooper against the Raiders corners. That could very well be winner takes all. That and other questions will get answered on Sunday. Thank you for watching. See you next time.